It's generating 500 watts right now. And it's not really much louder than the water spilling out over there. So that is super quiet, a lot quieter than before, especially with that large runner. All right, so I'm gonna uh, take this apart and the hose is really messing with the jet alignment. Let's see if you can see that. So as I move it, it kind of flexes the whole thing. And this, there's a lot of torque on that. So I was going to replace those bends in that hose with these. And then I was also going to rearrange the piping instead of having this wrap all the way around. Then I was going to take this guy and rotate it down. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> My lid just fell off. The screw that was holding it on pulled out. Oh, there's my headphones. Let's get the headphones out of the water. That's good for them. Ah, uh, great. So the, the screw pulled out and the lid fell back and it ripped off the hinges just now. All right, well, I can fix that later. So I was gonna spin that down and then put on a shorter section of hose right from there, right into the angle one of these guys uh, right into that so I won't have this large loop. All right, I disconnected everything that was in here. Now I have to rebuild it uh, with these, these guys again. So first I'm gonna start with, uh, with this, but I need to harvest the fittings off of my other hose. Um, so I gotta take this off. Unfortunately, I, I lost my little bit, so now I have to do this. And now I'm not sure how this is gonna come out, if at all. You can see that the, the hose has expanded or this has shrunk. I think I might just have to cut them off. Look at that, pretty easy. Uh, actually, I only had to take off the one on this one. But the other one, because I'm using a completely different hose, I have to do that differently. Also, this one, you see how it's bigger on the barb fitting? It has to be cut off. I'm not getting that off. Not without 120 PSI to help me out. Here we go. Gotcha. <sighs> okay. Save you for later. So I don't actually need two of those because I'm replacing them with these. Uh, let's see. How about there? That should do it. There we go. 
like I might need to rotate that a little bit. Actually, let's take it off of here and do that other connection first. That'll be easier. There we go. A lot of people ask what these fittings are. They're what's called sanitary fittings. Uh, another brand is Tri-Clamp Fittings. That's a brand name, kind of like Kleenex is a brand name. Uh, and they're used for brewing or other chemical processes, but a lot of micro brewing. So there's a lot of cheap products on, on Amazon and eBay for this sort of thing, which is fantastic for me. All right. And you can see it's pretty easy to reconfigure as needed, except for barb fittings. Let's go around the other way. I can just Lining up by eyeball. So we gotta cut it right about there. <laughs> All right, did you see that? So the other ones were tight, but this one is loosey goosey because this had been under pressure for a long while and it's set like that. Yep, so that'll, that'll work there. Well, heck, I can put this in place now. Come on. There we go. Uh, I should have gave myself another inch, but I think that'll work okay. Oh, that one's blowing apart. All right, let's test it out. Make sure there's no leaks first. I suppose I'll get out of the pit in case there is a leak or a blow off. I don't get soaked. And I can slowly turn it on. No blowouts, that's good. Except I forgot to tighten that one. Okay. All right, 
Let's try this again. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, I still have to fix the wiring. Also, my wires, I think, are getting a little bit small because I'm running almost double the amps at half the voltage. So, I think maybe that's part of the reason why my efficiency is not so great. But let's turn it on. All right. That one's pretty good. Let's try the other one. All right, I've got a little bit of wine coming out of it. Okay, I think that maybe this jet is a little bit too far out and I need to put it further in because it's deflecting water back here. You see that right there? It shouldn't be doing that. So I need to move that jet in. Okay, here it is uh, operating. It's most easily able to, or visualized with the water shooting perpendicular to the uh, to the jets, so it's hitting the jet and it's shooting perpendicular off. So that means most of the energy is completely captured, except for the velocity that it's hitting the housing at, and it's doing that on that side and on this side. Although on this side it seems to be shooting back more than up, so I, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, maybe the jet's too far in axial. Or radial, I guess that'd be radial, yeah. So it's hard to see that. Uh, I don't have a good way of adjusting these jets yet. Still engineering that. I'm gonna wait, I think, for that for the final stainless steel version. It looks a lot cleaner without all the hoses. Um, so we just have those. And it's also really quiet. You hear that? Super quiet. So I'm Happy with how that's working. Now I just have to reattach the lid. Thumbnail shot? Thumbnail shot, yeah. Here's maybe another perspective for how quiet it is. You hear the traffic? And then you hear that. And that's with the lid falling off. Like, comment, subscribe. You can support the channel on Patreon and Amazon and PayPal and all the links are below. I had a good time again. And sometime I'll edit all this into one like turbine installation summary video. It'll be like part 15, I think, or part 16 of the whole series. Uh, so I'll see you guys around. Bye. And the screw snooped at. The snoot. Nah. The screw is what failed here, so I replaced it with this strap, and now I can... Uh, there, there we go. So I really should replace that with something else. A, uh, a larger lag screw would probably be a good idea.